She's our local girl. She's a hero to us and to you. She's Gwen Stefani, and she's our feel good. I need to feel good. We are live with Gwen Stefani. Gwen, you know, we do these feel goods in the 50s, so every hour uh, we put people on the air and they tell us something good in their life, and we feel like it spreads through the Southland. And so you are our feel good this hour. Thank you for being here. Wow, that is a beautiful introduction. I feel so good just to hear your voice. Aww. It's familiar and comforting, you know what I mean? Thank and you. It's really fun to be live in the room. <laughs> we are live on the air. Uh, so, Gwen, um, uh, I know that you are very close with Karen Sharp. It snowed at her house last night. I saw that on Instagram because you guys are all my besties now that I hung out with you over at the studio, and I have to follow everybody, and it keeps us all close, you know what I mean? Yeah, it does, and I thank you. I can't believe this weather has been so gorgeous and, like, crispy and fresh and cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nice. All the roads to Big Bear are closed now. Um, but you growing up here, do you remember a time it's been this kind of, like, uh, moody? Not at all. I only can, I have memories of, like, some crazy rain, you know, where it's like all the earthworms come out, and you're like, whoa, like at school. But besides <laughs> that, you know, it's just kind of like, uh, this is different. This feels really cold to me, which I love. Yeah. It, yeah, I love it, too. I love the way your mind works. I mean, the earthworms in, in <laughs> elementary school, like, you can even, I could, when you said that, I could smell the dirt. <laughs> You know where all, like, the, the swings were, it was, like, dipped down, and then it would become, like, a pool, and then you would go through the blacktop, and there'd be, like, well, all these worms. Like, where did these come from? <laughs> Oh, anyway. oh, anyway, we're live with Gwen Stefani. We've been giving away uh, tickets and getaways to your Just a Girl residency at Planet Hollywood in Zappos Theater, and uh, we can't get enough of it. And we're so excited. You added 21 dates. Well, you know what? Like, you're saying all that, and I just feel like I'm in a dream. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, how could I fast forward in my life and have my own Vegas residency? And, and really, like, when I was, like, sniffing around about doing it and, like, flirting with the idea, it just seemed like an impossibility. But now that I'm doing it, it's kind of like it still blows my mind because it's such a – different kind of show for me like it's so personal and it's not that they weren't all but it's such a smaller venue and you're right there with the people and mm -hmm. vegas has a certain energy that's just different because normally you're like okay i'm gonna fly and it's me and philly it's you and a culture you know what i mean this mm -hmm. is me and around the world and people that have listened to my music through my entire like existence and life and they have their memories of the songs and my memories of the songs and it's like a big night out so um um, it's just different, and it, it's very, like, life-sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand, though. It's, it's, it's all-encompassing. It sucks you in, and then you're in it. It is. It, there's no way to, to fake it through. Like, mm -hmm. it, and every show is different. And so, like, I know I have a show. It's going to be my 17th show coming up, and all I've done all week is work out in the gym to try to get my, like, body ready and my mind ready. And it's, you know, it's going to be magical because every show has been magical. And so I feel very blessed to do it. And what's even crazier and the reason why I called you guys was I get to be part of this Cure for Kids charity. Yeah. And it's one of those things where you're like, already, because $1 of every ticket that somebody buys, like, you know, everyone's contributing to this, because if you buy a ticket, it go, one whole dollar goes, and they're already using the money to expand this this hospital, which is so crazy. They're going to be making this new exam room for the children that they get to go to that I get to design, and um, it's just kind of crazy to be able to do my thing and have my life, like, I don't know, all these victories in my life, but mm -hmm. then I will to be able to support these oh, children. Yeah. For it, sure. Getting on stage. So I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty excited about it. That's going to uh, be the best exam room ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you dream about it? Like, wh what color will I make it? What Will it be round? Will it be, <laughs> it'll be really it's fun. It's probably going to be some black and white. Gonna yeah. Be, I don't know. Let's some Harajuku vibe. We'll see. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. It's the uh, Cure for Kids uh, Foundation. So when you go see Gwen in Vegas, $1 of every ticket sold goes to the Cure for Kids uh, Foundation. That is, um, that's, you're doing good. You're doing good in the world. It's pretty awesome, I have to say. And, you know, just being up there and being able to see, like, I don't know, be up on stage, it makes me realize what an incredible,
incredibly blessed and amazing journey this has been doing music which was so unexpected because I didn't even know I could write music and mm-hmm. now it's like all this all this time has gone by and all these memories but um and I'm on your station right now live talking about it. <laughs> Ben Stefani live on the radio <laughs> and the last time when you uh, kicked off your residency in Vegas you had a whole floor I think has that grown you bring all the kids and the family and everyone is kind of like open door come when you can you mean like in the hotel room yeah or the backstage? yeah well right now like every time is different because that's what's so awesome about for me the schedule is like i have chunks of time where i'm not doing anything and then you know basically this next month i'm going to be doing a bunch of shows and so the kids are in school so i'm not probably not going to bring them as much this mm-hmm. time which yeah. is great for me yeah <laughs> 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 you have girls night out every night. <laughs> oh, no, it's girls night in every night. <laughs> but I think the thing is about Vegas and children, it's like, it's, I feel like I'm, I spend as I'm trying to make the money. Like, they're like, can we go do this? Can we buy this? Can we? It's like, there's so much for them to do, but at the same time, there isn't. It's like you're in a hotel room and you're going up an elevator. You're like, shut your eyes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's been a really... Uh-huh. Kind of, it's one of those things I know I'm going to look back on and go, I can't believe I did that. And I think about other people like Celine Dion that did it for so many years. And, mm-hmm. like, Jennifer did 120 shows, oh, like, wow. at the same theater I'm at. And it just blows my mind to think of all of what they did, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's pretty fun, I that have is, to say. That's so cool. Gwen Stefani, just a girl's Zappos Theater, Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino. And when you go... You are helping the kids. It's Cure for the Kids Foundation. Gwen, you're such a uh, a lover and a giver, and we just love you so much. Thank you for being um, being here on the air with us live. Thank you. you got to come see the show, for real. I'm like there. I will hook you up, okay? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, we're there. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we love you, Gwen Stefani. Have a great one. All right. Take care, guys. Have a good day. You too. Yeah.